Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my seventh update for my 21 in 21 project pan. So I am currently working on 10 products at a time to hit 21 goals throughout the year. Some of those goals are to empty, some have been to hit pan, some have been to get certain usage um, numbers on them. Um, but I, yeah, I work through 10 products at a time, not so I'm not overwhelmed by 21 products all at once. This update is technically getting filmed um, about a week and a half late. I did take all my pictures and track all my marks and everything on the last Sunday of July. So the pictures are an accurate representation of what my progress was for last month um, and I'm just a little bit behind. So I have actually gotten more usage on some of these products. So there are a few that I won't actually show you. Um, like I won't open the packaging. I'll just put the picture up on the screen so you can see the progress on screen, um, but it won't be from the actual packaging this month um, for, for a few of them, just because I don't wanna spoil anything for next month. As of last month, I was at 11 of my 21 goals. Um, so a little over halfway, which is exciting because we were right at halfway through the year. Um, but now we're in August and we're, we're getting we're getting started on our next month of progress. August is a longer month. So because I always track my progress on the last Sunday of the month, August will actually be a month of 35 days, whereas July was a month of 28 days. So this month's progress, this update's progress will be um, a 28 days worth of progress and next month will be a little bit longer. So yeah, with all that said, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, I have some really exciting progress for a few different products this month and I'm excited to show you guys. So as always, we'll go in the same order, starting off with our primer. And I have been using my Laura Mercier um, Pure Canvas Primer for um, several months now. It was my only primer for about three months and I wanted to go ahead and get it used up before buying a new one. Um, and I liked it, it was it was good, but it what it was kind of one of those like, well, I'm just gonna use it because I have it. And I did actually use this one up last month. So I hit my goal, which makes that the 12th goal hit. I did like it. I didn't wanna cut it open because I don't enjoy doing that. Um, but it took me, took me four months to get through this one, which is pretty good um, in my opinion. My total uses on it last month were 18 times, which left me at a total of 104 uses within the project. Now I had already used it a bit before that, but I did get to track every single use that I got out of this. And my total usage on this product from start to finish was 126 uses. Um, so that's not, not, not too bad. Um, would last you about mm, not quite half a year, but pretty, a pretty good amount of the year so and obviously you know different people use different amounts so it could last you somewhere around half of a year um, which isn't bad so that's very exciting I get to roll the first product out and in its place because that was my last primer at the time I did get um, some primers to replace it um, but they're since they're so new I don't really want to roll them into this project so what I decided I'd do is I'm actually rolling a concealer into its place and that is actually my Pat McGrath concealer it's the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer um, and this is in the shade light 2 it is a pretty good match for me um, I could see going a lighter shade for it too because it's basically um, it's not super brightening on me it's kind of like the perfect match for my skin tone so it doesn't really like Add any kind of brightness or anything so I wouldn't mind actually having a lighter shade of this as well but um I really really like this concealer it's amazing this is honestly kind of like a gift to myself in this project because I really love this concealer but I hate the idea of using it up because it's my favorite concealer that I own and I don't want to just like run through it in some ways but at the same time I'm like you know what Technically, it's past its expiration date because there are such short expiration dates on most concealers. Um, and I want to get it used up um, because I love it. And so I figure I may as well use it rather than forcing myself to run through my other concealers that I don't love as much and let this one just sit. So I actually have used this a decent amount just on my own, um, but I'll show you, this is where we are starting on this concealer. So pretty low down there, you know, there's not a ton of, um, there's not a ton of product left in here because I mean, it's even like a bit of the base is taking up a good chunk of that bottom there. So yeah, so I would say 
This is probably not gonna take me too, too long to finish up. You don't need a ton of this in one use because it does cover pretty well. Um, one of the reasons I really like it, you don't you don't need much more than like just a, a small dab under each eye and it does an incredible job. I really love this one. I am wearing it today. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very excited to let myself use this. There is a small amount of windowing on the front that you can see. I store it standing up so it keeps pretty flat um, and even. I will pull the stopper out of this because I do like it a lot. Um, and yeah, I just want to get it used up and give it the love it deserves. And so this is the first product that I'll be rolling in. My next product is my foundation product. And that has been my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint in the shade 3 Ballos. And I have actually stopped using it on my face and I started using it on my body um, because it was, I found that it was causing some issues with my skin. Um, since I stopped using it, it has completely cleared up. So I'm pretty well convinced that this was the issue. This was the culprit. Um, and I discovered as well, I mentioned this last month, um, a similar thing was happening with my sun sunscreen. So I replaced that sunscreen and it, once I took the two of them out, my skin has been totally fine. So I checked the ingredients lists and it comes down to apparently aloe clogs my pores and creates a weird effect on my skin or something because that's like the only ingredient that they both have in common that aren't in my other products. So that I started using this on my body just to get it used up. Um, I did like it on the face. So I was kind of sad about not being able to use it that way anymore, but um, for the past several months, I've been using this um, as uh, just like a, a tint for my legs and arms, sometimes on my chest if I had like a lower cut top, like a, a lower scoop on my top or a v-neck or anything like that. Um, and uh, this last month, I used it seven times um, for a total of 37 uses within the project. And I've been weighing this to kind of track my progress. So last month, I used up 0.24 ounces um, and that puts me at a total of 0.91 uses used up within this project. Um, and there was only one fluid ounce within this. So this is empty. <laughs> I had been using this prior um, and I do consider this empty now um, because I have to unscrew the top and pour it, just pour it out. I think there might be the slightest bit of product left in here but I'm not worried about getting that tiny, tiny, tiny bit out and just like sitting there and like just shaking it and shaking it until it all comes out um, because it's not, it's not necessary. I've used it a bunch. I've gotten it, you know, I've, I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Um, I have like completely emptied it. Um, now my usage on it is not going to be like, I mean, if I had used this just on my face, it would have taken me way longer to get through it. But from start to finish, this took me 57 uses to get through again, I used it most of the time on my arms and legs, so I went through it way faster. It would take, I would say, at least double that, if not more, to actually get through um, a full one of these if you were just using it on your face. So definitely more worth the price if you use it as it's intended. Um, but yeah, I did like it. Uh, again, I can't use it on my face, so there's no reason for me to repurchase it. But this is my 13th goal hit. So in its place, I will be rolling in another foundation and that is going to be my Rare Beauty foundation. I do really like this foundation a lot. It is what I'm wearing today. Um, I, yeah, I got this at the beginning of the year, I think, and it's, it's great. I think it's a great one. Um, definitely recommend it, especially for the price point. Really like the coverage, really like how buildable it is. I just, yeah, I like a pretty much everything about it. I wear the shade 140C um, and it is, yeah, it's it's really good. It's, it's a really good foundation. And again, it's kind of one of those like, I'm letting myself use it um, and I'm, I'm excited to use it up. I am going to be weighing this because you can't really see, I'll show you, you can't really see like any lines of demarcation. So like, even if I scrape the sides, it's kind of hard to see like through the bottle. So, I'm just gonna be weighing it to track my progress. Who knows, maybe I'll get to seeing some windowing or something as I continue along. So at our starting mark, this currently weighs 2.68 ounces. Um, there is one fluid ounce in this, um, like the Ilia one. I don't know how much of it I have 
used up because I haven't weighed it before, but I will definitely be keeping a close eye on it um, as I use it up and just kind of see what uh, what kind of progress we can make through it. All right, my next product is my bronzing product. And this is one that I won't be opening the packaging for. So I will, I'll hold it up, but then I will just put the picture on the screen so you can kind of see um, what my progress looks like. But it is my NARS bronzer um, in the shade Unleashed. It came in the Atomic Blonde uh, face and eye palette. Um, so, but I depotted it out of here and put it into my butter bronzer container because it was just easier to use that way. Um, so no longer in the container, but I do have it in here. I rolled this in two months ago, I think. Yeah, I think it was two months ago I rolled this in. I removed it from the palette and put it in this butter bronzer container just to make it easier to use. So it was all just in one spot and I didn't have to leave the palette in my drawer um, in front of me all the time. I have been using this a, a good amount and um, my goal is to empty this one up as well. Last month I used this 27 times, so all but one day, which I don't, I think there was one day I didn't wear makeup, so I, I've used it every single day um, for a current total of 87 uses. On this product, um, you can see that I expanded the pan a decent amount. Nothing too crazy. I feel like when you repress a bronzer or anything like that, it can tend to move a little bit slowly at first. Um, I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I was originally thinking that I might be able to get it done by the end of August, but now that I'm looking at the progress that I've made, I'm not positive about that. I'm thinking it might be more like the end of September, but um, we'll see. We'll see how quickly I can move through it um, as, again, with repressing, you just kind of never know whether it's gonna last a little bit longer or whether it's just like really thin in some places and you just don't see that until you've gone over it with your brush. Um, because <laughs> it's kind of hard to evenly distribute the product when you're repressing it. So yeah, um, I'm happy with my progress on this very excited to continue to see progress and uh, we'll we'll see where we're at next month. All right, next up is my highlighting product and that is my NARS Fort de France highlighter. Um, this is <laughs> and has and will be in this project from the beginning of the year, probably through the end of the year. Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm considering rolling this out. You guys let me know what you think. I, I kind of want to keep working on it because I just, I like this product a lot and I do want to get it used up and it is the oldest highlighter in my collection and I have been rotating in other um, highlighters into my like everyday drawer and giving myself a, a goal of five uses to make sure I'm using my other highlighters as well. Um, so my usage is a little less on this, which means my progress will be a little less on this, but I kind of feel like it might be worth it because... I want to, I want to get through this, but I don't want to ignore my other highlighters. So I don't know. I, as long as you guys don't mind, I think I'll probably keep this in. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you where I'm at with this product. So last month I actually decided to repress this product. Um, so <laughs> it looks like almost a brand new highlighter. I did use this 22 times last month, which was a total of 199 uses on this highlighter since the project began. Um, and part of the reason I repressed it was it was starting to kind of like pull away from the pan and um, it had started to crumble a little bit in some places. So I just decided I wanted to completely repress it, see if that would help me um, get my usage a little bit more evenly distributed and also help it not pull away from the pan as much because um, I had already lost some product from this. So this is what it's looking like right now. It is, you know, almost looking new just because it is flat and taken care of. I don't know. I mean, there's still so much product in here. This is something that's like, I, I'm convinced this is gonna take an eternity to finish up. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how, how you would go about finishing this much product. It makes me never want to buy a highlighter again until I'm completely done with all the highlighters I currently have. Uh, it's just so much product. It's so, so much product. Um, but I love this highlighter. It is my favorite highlighter. I don't mind using it every day. Uh, it's a wonderful highlighter. So yeah, kind of boring progress, but, um, 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's a great highlighter, so I'm gonna keep using it. All right, next up is the first of my two blush products. And the first one is my Pixi Fresh Face Blush in the shade Beach Rose. Um, now, I think this is a sample size. I, I'm not positive because I got it, um, I got it in an Ipsy bag um, several years ago. And my goal with this one is not to empty it out. It's just to use it a hundred times and kind of see what kind of progress I can make. So I'm anticipating this will probably be in, maybe not through the rest of the year, but through the majority of the year. And my kind of like sub goal is just to use it about 20 times per month. Again, I'm not gonna open this one up because you can see a little bit of a difference, I think, between the pictures, um, but I'll just put the, put the update picture on the screen for you to kind of see. So it doesn't look too much different from the intro, um, but I did use this 21 times last month and I did introduce it last month. So it's just a total of 21 uses, um, which means I have 79 uses to go within the project before um, it is officially considered done. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not really working to get it done too quickly. I anticipate this one will be in through the end of the year and I'm, I'm fine with that because I just kind of want to see what kind of progress I can make on it. So my next product is my other blush which is my deck of scarlet mistake proof blush and this one is in the shade savage um, I have a similar goal um, to the pixie blush with this one this one just has a usage goal um, but this one I only want to use 50 times um, because I'm not a huge fan of cream or liquid blushes I just wanted to get to know this product better and get some usage on it because I'm not really used to it um, but I did find, I have, or rather I have found within using it that I actually really like this product a whole lot. I feel like it gives a nice, um, soft, I don't know, finish to the skin. Um, when you apply it, I don't actually have it on today. Um, but I do wear it quite often. I actually end up not allowing myself to wear it sometimes because I would use it every single day. Um, but I don't want to like just blow through it. Last month I used it a total of 17 times. Um, which puts me at a total of 32 uses. Um, so only 18 more uses until I hit my goal. I imagine I'll hit my goal this next month because like I said, I have been really enjoying using it. Um, and I got 17 last month. So I have, I, I foresee no problem in getting at least 18 uses on this next month. Um, I have been weighing it to kind of see how use kind of crosses over um, from number to weight. Um, so last month, 17 uses got uh, 0 0.07 fluid ounces used, um, which puts me at a total of 0.18 ounces used up um, from this product. This is 0.94 fluid ounces total. So <laughs> I've still got a ton of product in here. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to track how many ounces I use up with 50 uses um, just so I can kind of have a gauge for when I do decide I want to finish this product because um, I might I might try to do that mm. I think it expires next year so I'll probably try to do that next year sometime um, so yeah it'll be a nice gauge of like 50 uses gets me this much product use up used up so that'll be that'll be pretty handy to have my next product is another long-term product and that is my Bobbi Brown gel liner um, I will go ahead and show you this because it's so hard to see the difference between the picture and the pot anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it's looking like. Um, and this is where we are at. Um, so still, still trucking on this. Uh, it's <laughs> going to take a while. Um, and that's fine. Uh, it's not, uh, again, I, I've said this many times throughout the year. I anticipate it's going to take me the whole year to use this up. It might even take me a little longer. Um, I mean, now we're in August at... We're at the beginning of August, but yeah, I am not foreseeing this being totally used up by the end of the year, but I do want to get as close as possible. So I have no intentions of rolling this out. I just want to keep using it. With this one, it's sort of a slow and steady finishes the race kind of mentality for me. Um, because if you, if you just look at it from month to month, it doesn't look as uh, big of gaps of like usage where it's like, oh wow, you've made so much progress. But when you look from the intro to now, it is a pretty big jump. I mean, I have used a lot of product out of here. So I'm, I'm happy with how my progress is going. Last month I used it 17 times for a total of 127 uses in this project. So yeah, again, it's gonna take me a really long time to get through this. 
Uh, again, I don't foresee finishing it this year, but I, I am gonna try. I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna make all the progress I can on it. All right, moving on to the final three products. They are my lip products. As most of you probably know, I am working through all of my lip products this year. So we're getting getting pretty close um, with some of them. I started the year with 20 lip products and a lot of those were um, sample sizes, but I have whittled it down through a little decluttering and a lot of using up um, to just five different uh, lip products. And so we're working to get those ones finished up by the end of the year. The first of the three that I have in this project right now is my Lancome Labsolu Lacquer in the shade 202. Um, I have had this one for a while and I like it a lot, um, but it is changing formula on me. It's acting up a bit. Um, so I have kind of given myself two goals with this, either 50 uses or emptying it out, um, whichever one comes first. Last month, I thought it was gonna have to be, uh, I was gonna have to be done with it because I was having a really hard time getting any product out of this anymore. But then I decided to go ahead and stick it in some hot water. I ruined the container a little bit uh, because my water was too hot. And, uh, but it still works. Uh, and it did pull um, a lot of the product down actually. So I have more product that I can use when I bring, bring the wand out. I have a lot more product on the wand now. Um, however, it is thinning a little bit more nowadays. So um, last month I did get it used. I did get to use it 12 times and that puts me at a total of 35 uses. So just 15 more to hit my 50 goal, um, which is not too many. It's a pretty easy one to use. I am wearing it today. I like the color of it a lot, um, which is part of the reason I didn't wanna just toss it when the formula, I noticed the formula changed. Even with the 12 uses, I didn't see any um, weight change for, for last month. It's still at 0.03 fluid ounce usage um, from the previous month. So I do feel like you can see a difference um, from picture to picture of like the line of demarcation essentially, um, but there's no uh, weight change. So I don't know uh, exactly what that means. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm just going for amounts of uses right now, like total uses. Uh, and if I empty it, I empty it. But I, uh, yeah, I think I'll probably have this one finished up by next month. Even if I hit the 50 uses and there's still product in there, I might just toss it because it is getting a little bit, it's getting a little bit difficult to use. I actually really, really love it and I'll be sad to see it go um, because the color is great, but I'm thinking that it's about time to let it go now. Um, and. I'll be happy knowing that I got some good use out of it um, before having to toss it. So we'll see if it's if it's still behaving well next month, there's a chance that I'll keep it in, but I'll probably be done with this one at the end of next month. Next up is my Lisa Eldridge uh, True Velvet Lipstick in the shade Velvet Muse. Um, I have finally come to a conclusion with this lipstick. I'm not a huge fan. I don't love the formulation, which makes me really sad because I like I like Lisa Eldridge a lot. I love this, like the packaging is so luxe and cool. Um, and I really like the color of this lipstick, but something about the formula just doesn't do it for me. I just don't love it. Um, it's kind of heavy on my lips. It, do, it just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. And I like my Charlotte Tilbury one. That's a very similar shade to this, way better. Um, so... Yeah, just not my just not my favorite lipstick. I did use this 12 times last month as well, which puts me at a total of 46 uses within this project. I am trying to get it used up. I've got uh, most of it. I got a, I've got a pretty good amount of it done. Um, I'll show you on my notebook where I'm at with it. So we started up all the way up here and we are currently down to here. I think that's a lot of really good progress. I'm very thankful for that. Like it's a pretty regular amount of progress the last three months on um, this lipstick. So I would say if we continue to have that same amount, I will probably, it'll probably take me two more months to get through this. So maybe at the end of September, I'll have this one done, maybe into October. Um, I'm not planning to dig this one out. I've kind of decided I don't like digging lip products out of, out of the, like, once you hit that plastic bit, I'm pretty much done. I don't enjoy applying lip products with a brush or with my finger. It's just not my favorite. So I will, once I hit the bottom, I'll be done. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the progress on that and it's it's pretty great. I'm uh, making 
making my way through it. All right, and the final product is my NARS uh, Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Laguna. It is just like the mini size from um, the Sephora birthday gift. And I rolled this in just a couple months ago and it is officially used up. I cannot scroll it up anymore. It is gone. Um, when I use it on my lips, it just pushes the other product around. So it's done, um, which is very exciting. You know, just two months didn't take me that long to get through it. Uh, pretty great, pretty, uh, pretty nice. I liked it okay. I didn't really feel like it did that much to nourish my lips. It was fine. Um, not really worth the price. You go through it way too fast and the color is not, it, it's not enough of a payoff to actually do anything for me. Um, but this was my 14th goal hit. I did get it used up. I enjoyed using it while I had it and I'm happy to, uh, to move on from it. I did use it 12 times last month, which was a total of 26 uses, uh, to get it finished up. So in its place, I will be rolling in, uh, my only lip gloss in my collection. And that is my tower 28 lip gloss. Um, this is in the shade chill. Um, I know it doesn't look like it, but, uh, it's, yeah, it is originally the clear gloss. I just don't clean the doe foot applicator because I'm lazy and I don't want to. I did clean it at first, uh, because I didn't want to turn it pink, but I eventually got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm not using it because I don't want to clean it. So I may as well just start not cleaning it and get it used up. Uh, it kind of taught me I don't want clear glosses. I just don't see the point for myself personally. Um, I would rather just go ahead and get a gloss that already has some kind of a tint to it, some sort of color, um, because yeah, I just don't really need a clear gloss. If I want something glossy, I'd rather have a color with it. However, with that being said, I do really like this gloss formula. The gloss is lovely. It's so like you put it on and your lips just look like glass. It's so, so pretty. So I do like this lip gloss. I just don't like the clear. I don't need the clear, I guess I should say. Um, so in the future I will repurchase. I just will purchase in a different color, but my goal is to use this guy up. Um, I don't think it'll take me very long. Glosses don't typically take long to get through. And, um, I am going to just show you the starting mark. Uh, you can probably, you might be able to see it just through there. Um, you can already, I, I'm just going to show you on here. Um, there is a little bit of progress down, but I don't think it's going to be that much, uh, comparatively, but I, I was starting up here. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm already down a little bit, but I think I'll be down a pretty good amount by the end of the month. So I, I don't really think this is too much of a spoiler. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'll be able to move through this one pretty quickly. And I'm just kind of excited to see, you know, uh, how, how quickly I can get through it. I honestly think it might only take me three months. Um, I'm thinking, cause I will take the stopper out of this. Um, I actually don't mind. I don't mind taking the stopper out of most things. Um, so long as they don't get like too crazy, uh, messy. I store this upright and it's a pretty, uh, easy, like it all kind of like evens out really easily. So I'm thinking this one shouldn't be too messy of a product. Um, once, once I take the stopper out. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to get some good use on this one and get it used up. All right, so that is everything for this update. I'm not sure how many products I'll have finished up next month. Maybe one or two? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe two um, Two of these products. I think I'll probably have them used up next month, so I should be rolling in a couple of new things. Um, it is a longer month um, of, of usage, so I should have some good progress as well to show you guys. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to follow along on this journey, uh, do subscribe if you'd like to. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.